Hello everyone. So for today we are going to be going into a new topic. We're going to be talking about dividing polynomials. So, so far we have added, we have subtracted, we have multiplied in different ways. Now we're going to be learning that last one of dividing. So for this first video we're just going to do a review of the quotient property because we're going to have to use that for these problems. So if you recall, to divide like bases we subtract the exponents. So if I have a base of like say x cubed over x squared, I would just subtract those exponents and I'd get x to the first. Or I could just write that as x. But then if you also recall if I have the bigger number on the bottom, so let's say I had x to the fourth over x to the seventh, I would still subtract them, so I'll do 7 minus 4 to get 3. But since my bigger exponent's on the bottom, my base will stay on the bottom. And then for numbers out in front, we're going to divide those as normal. We're going to kind of treat those like fractions. So looking at this first one, I have 3x squared over 6x to the fifth. I want to first reduce my fraction out in front. I kind of think of this as being 3 over 6. Well, to reduce that, I'm just going to divide both sides, or top and bottom, by 3. And so I get 1 half. And then for my x squared over x to the fifth, I'm going to go ahead and subtract those. So 5 minus 2, I get 3. My bigger exponent was on the bottom, so my base is going to stay on the bottom. So my x cubed is going to be on the bottom because the bigger exponent was on the bottom. Since everything moved to the bottom, I just leave a 1 up on top. Okay, let's try one that's a little bit more complicated. So now I have two variables. I'm going to first again reduce my fraction. So for 8 over 6, well, I know 2 goes into both. So 8 divided by 2, I get 4. 6 divided by 2, I get 3. Next, I'm going to look at my x's. So I have x to the 5th divided by x to the 4th. Well, 5 minus 4, I get 1. My bigger exponent was on top, so my base is going to stay on top. And then I need to do my y, so I have y to the 4th over y squared. Well, 4 minus 2, I get 2. My bigger exponent is on top, so my base is going to stay on top. And so I get this. You could leave that one exponent there, but I'm going to go ahead and take it out, since that's both the same. Okay, try this last one. So I'm going to first deal with my numbers out in front. I have negative 12 over 6. Well, 6 actually divides evenly into negative 12. So I'm just going to have a 1 on bottom. Negative 12 divided by 6, I get negative 2. Okay, and then I have x to the 7th over x to the 11th. When I subtract those exponents, 11 minus 7, I get 4. My bigger exponent was on the bottom this time. So that means my x will stay on the bottom. Now I have y to the 6 over y. Again, when there's not an exponent there, there's really an exponent of 1. So 6 minus 1, I get 5. My bigger exponent's on top, so my base will be on the top. 